Lesson 13.3b, Writing Equations Using the Area of a Trapezoid. Back in video 13.1b, we learned how to find the area of a trapezoid with a formula. Well, we can use the formula for the area of a trapezoid to write an equation to solve a problem. To find the area of a trapezoid, we need three dimensions. We need height, we need base 1, and base 2. If we're given the area and two of those dimensions, we can find the third dimension by using the formula and properties of equality to isolate the variable to one side of the equation. A park is shaped as a trapezoid with an area of 9,000 square yards. The side along Main Street, that would be up here, is 70 yards and the side along 1st Street is 130 yards, what is the width of the park? So this could be confusing. This is going to be our height. This is the width of the park. We're going to use the height as the width. We have our formula. The area is equal to half the height multiplied by the first and second base added together. So we substitute the values that we've got. We know the area is 9,000. We put that here. And it's equal to half the height, which we're using as width, but we don't know that, so we're going to leave it as h. And we know that one side is 70 and the other side is 130. We add these together and get a 200. Now we have half times 200 times h, because we can multiply in any order, can't we? Half of 200 is 100. We have 100 h. We can use division to isolate h to one side of the equation. We learned how to do that in video 11.3c, and it's linked in the description. So we divide both sides by 100, this 100 coefficient, and that's going to create a 1 because we have the same numerator and denominator. So we have 1 h, but we don't write that 1 coefficient. On this side, 9,000 divided by 100 is 90. We know the park is 90 yards wide. We solved this by slowly getting the h for our width to one side of the equal sign. Let's try another one. One side of the roof of this house has an area of 720 square feet. So we're doing just this side of the roof. So the area here is 720 square feet. One base is 32 feet, so that's probably this one right here. And the other base is 16 feet, so that's going to be this one up here. What is the height of this trapezoidal shape? So we need the height, which is right here. We have our formula for the area of a trapezoid. We put in what we know, that the area is 720. We don't know the height, but we do know that Base sub 1 is 32, and base sub 2 is 16. We add these together and get a 48. We can multiply half times 48 to get a 24. So now, on this side of the equation, we have 24h. And we can use division to isolate the variable to one side. We divide both sides by this coefficient 24 that creates our friend the invisible 1. Same numerator and denominator, so it's 1. We have 1h one and 720 divided by 24. We can do a little math on the side. We see that it's 30. We know the height is 30 feet. Let's try some higher order thinking skills so I can stretch your brain. How would we solve that problem? If we know the height is 30 feet and one base is 32 feet and the area is 720 feet, but that base 2 is missing. So now we do have the height and one base and the area. We put in the height into our formula. We put in the one base we do know. And we do half times 30, which is 15. Now we divide both sides by the 15 to isolate this 32 plus b sub 2 to one side. So we're going to get rid of this 15 by dividing both sides by the 15. That's going to create a giant 1, our invisible 1, buddy. And 720 divided by 15 is 48. So we know this side is 48. And now we have 1 times 
32 plus whatever base sub 2 is, and identity property, it's going to be 32 plus whatever base sub 2 is. So now, this is what our equation looks like. We can use properties of equality and subtract 32 from both sides to isolate this b sub 2. We take 32 away from this side, we take 32 away from this side. This creates a zero pair and eliminates it. And now we have 16 is equal to the second base, the measure. The second base is 16 feet long. So we got rid of this 15 here by dividing both sides by the 15, it became a 1, which made this by itself on the right-hand side of the equation. Then we just use subtraction, and now this b sub 2 is by itself, and we know that it's equal to 16. Be careful writing your answers in these types of problems because the area is given, and the areas are in square units. The base and height dimensions are not. If we're looking for a base or height dimension, it's just going to be written in regular units, not square units. And we may see some problems involving cross sections. They may say that something is in a trapezoid shape that is a cross section of something. And a cross section is like a slice. It's the shape we get when cutting through an object. And keep in mind, if no diagram is given, we can quickly draw one and label it with the information we are given. We're finished with the second part of this lesson. We're going to move on to the last part, solving multi-step area problems. Remember, I have links to those previous videos in the description of this video. And if you're ever confused, you can always go back, regroup, watch them quickly, and then come forward again, and you won't be confused. Have a great day. Bye.